Hi! This week I wanted to share a social emotional story with you guys. The story that I am going to read is called I Can't Do That Yet. So this is a story that reminded me of our class and reminded me of something that Miss Cross says because I hear you guys and Miss Cross say it together all the time, I can't yet. So I thought that this would be a really good one for us to read and I really like it. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. Bedtime is the time that Enna doesn't like, but everybody knows that before bedtime comes story time and Enna loves story time. It's bedtime, Enna. Enna loves all kinds of times, free time, play time, cookie time, and even brushing teeth time. I love brushing teeth time. Enna's dad asked her to read the first page. Like every evening, Enna responded, I can't do that. Halfway through the story, Baxter, I think that's her dog, crawled, <clears throat> crawled into her bed. Her dad pretended that he didn't notice. Enna couldn't remember the end of the story. She must have fallen asleep, but suddenly she wasn't in her bed anymore. Where do you think she could have gone? She looked around and saw a woman. The woman was tall with long brown hair and glasses. Enna had the feeling she knew her. Somehow they must have met before. Finally, you are here. I was waiting for you all day long, said the woman. Let me show you what we have done. The woman smiled and took Enna by the hand. Hmm, she says, look what we have done. I think that means that Enna does know this lady. What do you think? Let's find out. Look, Enna, this is our office. Our, that's another shared pronoun. We usually arrive here at around nine in the morning. The team we work with is awesome. We hired a bunch of very creative and smart people. Everybody works together and we lead the technical department. Enna could tell that the woman was excited but she had no idea what she was talking about. She didn't want to interrupt her, but she didn't understand why the woman kept saying we. Anna had never been here before. And why did the woman look so familiar? So Anna picked up on the shared pronouns and she's wondering why this lady keeps saying we, because obviously the lady knows Anna, but Anna is not sure about the lady. This is going to be really tricky. I wonder what it's going to be. Yesterday was a crazy day. The servers went down and everybody was worried. At first, we couldn't find the problem in the code. Our webpage wasn't showing anything, but fortunately, we were able to fix it in just 20 minutes. Emma was confused. She didn't know what servers were or why they were important, but she was glad that the woman was able to fix the problem. Then the woman took Anna to a desk. There, she turned on her computer and started writing something on a green background. Anna, I'm gonna take a break. Can you finish the rest of the work? Do you see how worried Anna looks? I don't think she feels like she can finish it. Let's see. I can't do that. Let me turn the brightness down a little bit. Is that that? Yeah. I can't do that. Really? The woman started laughing and Emma thought that was mean. But her laugh was so contagious that she eventually had to laugh too. Suddenly, the woman got up and went to the fridge. She put celery sticks and a jar of peanut butter on the counter. Slowly, the woman started to put a celery stick directly into the jar. Enna's mom always told Enna to use a fork instead of putting the celery directly into the jar, but the woman didn't seem to care. Enna still couldn't remember the woman's name, so she asked, You are telling me all these things, but I don't even know your name. The woman looked Enna in the eyes and said, I'm you, and you are me. Whoa! That was not possible. How can one person also be another person? The woman stood up from her chair and whispered, my name is Enna and I'm a possible version of you in the future. 
The only thing different about you and me is time. That is pretty wild. Anna was confused. That can't be true. I don't even know what you're talking about. Server, code, I can't do any of that. You can't do that? Anna, you can't do that yet. That's what Miss Carlos always says to you guys. Because you haven't had the time that I've had. When we were 16, we started to learn computer programming. We made this little game and everything went from there. You really wanted this. And so you created me, just like you created this game. But I don't remember any of that. How could you? This is the future. If you want this, it could be your future. Anna couldn't believe what she had just heard. How could all of this be possible? She wasn't like this woman at all. But maybe she really could be like her. This future seemed exciting. Anna had so many thoughts at once that she wasn't able to say anything. The woman said that Anna could be her if she wanted. But what if she didn't want to be her? Do you think Anna could be anything else she wanted to be? Hmm. Let's keep reading. Anna didn't want to hurt her older self's feelings, so she didn't say anything. Anna's older self looked at her and said gently, You don't need to say anything. I know exactly how you feel. I want you to meet a few people before you have to go. All of them care about you very much. Hmm. I predict that future Anna is going to show current Anna different other future use she could be. Let's see. With these words, she opened a door wide and Anna could see what was inside. The room was full of Annas. That's what I predicted. There were so many Annas that she didn't know which one to focus on first. Each one seemed different, but at the same time similar. Nobody seemed to notice little Anna. She wished she were able to stay forever and to meet every single one of them. Just when she finally had the courage to step into the room full of Annas, the door closed. Let's look at some of the Annas. There's one here that's a policeman, one here that looks like a doctor. I think this one is a lawyer. This one's reading and this one's doing some science. So these are a lot of different futures that Anna could have. Suddenly, Anna's feet started to feel wet. She heard a voice far away. The voice told her that she had to go now. She then heard her older self telling her one last thing. We are always inside you, even when you don't see, feel, or know it. Anna felt Baxter licking her feet and quickly realized that she was back in her bed. She got up right away and told her dad, I want to try to read the first page tonight. With a little time, I'll get it right. I just can't do it yet. I can't do that yet. Awesome. So that's the end of the story. I really wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was a great example of having a growth mindset and remembering that you can't do things yet and that we're in school and we're always working to learn more so that we can do things and we can get better as we get older. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week and I miss seeing you all. Bye.